Welcome back, guys, to Trails from Zero. We're last episode entering the mining town of Mainz. We noticed a fancy car at its entrance before learning the mayor was busy in a meeting, watching the visiting party leave to see that they are part of the Ravash Mafia. After speaking to the mayor, Lloyd decided we already had all the clues in hand to figure out what was going on, calling a meeting where we sorted out our findings into a different revealing form as we now act to collar the culprits. Uh, maybe. Alright, up we go. There's a uh, the shop over here. A bedtime story has been found indeed. Right in time. Daddy, it's so late. What's for dinner? I'm starving. Oh, only your favorite, Kimmy. My homemade hamburgers. Woohoo, I love those the mostest. Daddy may be really strict to everyone else, but he's super nice to me. I love him a lot. We've got guts. No one in their right mind goes outside at night nowadays. Come on, you buy something? Don't give me any of those. Oh, we're just looking around excuses. I'm just looking around. <laughs> Tell me what you want, and you got it. Listen here, I could be spending time with my darling door, so if you really are just looking around, I'm not going to be a happy camper. Bye. Boom. Ah, why is he so late? Oh, I guess I have to wait until Dad gets home. Please hurry up. So hungry. Come on, Dad. When are you coming home? Why is he so late indeed? I'm just going to say, we're at the very end of a session here. We've got a book in hand, but I don't want to finish just yet. But it might mean we start something and don't quite finish it just yet as well. So you up for that? <laughs> We've got our bedtime story, but there's no one else to sweep and talk to. So the only thing we can do is activate whatever's about to happen, right? Might send us down the slippery slope to never stopping, never stopping. Let's find out, I guess. Surely this will heal me too, right? Stand by until midnight. Alright, if we're ready, let's stand by here until midnight. We still need to decide on our strategy for when the monsters show up. So you think simply driving them away from the town will not be enough? Right, we also have to corner the Mafia goons who are pulling the strings. Uh, this mission's starting to sound a bit trickier than we thought, huh? Is that midnight in the game? It's literally hit midnight here too. <laughs> Maybe I had a little too much to drink. Oh damn, it's already got on the slate. May have told everyone to head back home early, you know? Uh, you worried about a few little monsters? Uh, I put aside visiting the casino to keep slaving away those damn mines, man. Give me a cut me some slack and let me have a couple of drinks, damn it. And you go to that casino and bleed yourself dry every weekend. She must be their prized dairy cow, huh? You know, given how much mirror they milk out of you. Sh shut up! I'm saving my money for my next trip. Just shoot watch you. I'll score big every roulette next time and win everything back. Huh? Did you hear that? Uh, the hell? No, no way. Is, is it those wolves? P please, please stay away from me. Uh, help us, Adius. Hey, you two. I want to cover your eyes. Is that a new ability I just got? Woof. <laughs> Woof. What, what the? What was that? A flashbang. These babies are pretty useful against muscle like these. Y you guys. We, we saw you earlier today. Save the talking for later. Go take shelter in the inn. Y yeah. Uh, what is going on? Urgh. Woof. Damn, they recovered pretty quickly. It's going to be a real pain in the ass. All right, everyone. Let's take them out. Has Randy given us the hint? Oh, we yeah. are. That's an interesting formation. Yeah. I probably should scan one of these. <laughs> Scans Chrono Dam. Analyze me a doggo. 
しましたアマフィアウォーハウンドウェアングアイアンアーマー pursues its targets as it is ordered to ドーヴンカイザー is indeed not good with the blinding Oh man, I can place it like that. That's amazing. Oh, Let's see how much damage it does, if any. Oh, it does do damage, just not that much. 80 delay? Logo a bit Theo. Not happy about this. But revenge is soon coming our way, right? Okay, how am I killing you? What is the. No, good elements. Good.、Uh, it's great. Hmm. Try to look at, like, what is a good. Anything I can use here? Maybe just attacking is good. Always heal you up a little if we need to. I think seal would be pretty good, but it doesn't look like that's really an option. Let's see how much damage your arts do against normal attacks here. <laughs> Hello! Stop this! <laughs> no! Bad dogs! <laughs> What are you doing to me? Lloyd might go one time in the distant future again, you know? I can do that too, you dicks. <laughs> Not a bad option, is it? <laughs> Look, Lloyd, you can do a thing. Line them up. I'm assuming these dogs will move out of range though now. Well, that's probably a really bad choice. <laughs> now that I actually look at it. Yes. Those scales have come in now.、Uh... Pretty clutch, I would say. No, he's out of range. I only hit Krona down on one of them. Oh, that's a shame. How am I doing here?、Uh, I should attack this target. Because the spells we're dropping are actually pretty good. Maybe I'm using a little bit too much EP here. Ooh, Ariel or Sepip up? Oh! Milk! Milking some dogs! <laughs> Milky dogs! <laughs> Yeah. 
I sound so wrong. But it was just so right. Got him! After being 80 delayed to oblivion. Farewell. Now, how much step did I get off there? Oh, yeah, nice. Thank you. I took their flesh too. Phew, they definitely were a handful. Now that I take a closer look, they looked like dogs, not wolves. So these were trained warhounds after all. They're not done yet. <laughs> sure. Arf! <laughs> they called the dog retreat. Ah! Dang, still kicking her. It's fine, just follow them. They'll probably lead us back to where their masters are. Right. Why are you much back here so soon? Pretty sure we ordered you to tear those townspeople to shreds. What's the matter with you? Freeze. What? what? Who the hell? Crossbell Police Department, special support section. You're here for a Vashen Co, aren't you? You're under arrest on the charges of property damage and assault. The, the cops? What the hell are they doing here? Special support section, eh? You're the guys who took down Fabio and his men, aren't you? These are the runts that messed up our plans in the downtown district. Ah, they remember this. I'm flattered. Are we supposed to feel honored? Well, not like it matters. We gotta teach these junior detectives a lesson. You took real good care of our friends in the downtown district. Not only that, you went out of your way to play with our dogs. After such generosity, it's only natural for us to return the favor. So you're resisting arrest? Eh, obviously, you moron. You're ready to see the bottom of Lake Elm. Oh, not good. Crap, they bought meds. Oh, you seem to think pros like ourselves wouldn't come prepared. Sick em. Attack! Yeah, rip out their throats. I don't like this at all. Here they come. Don't hold back. <laughs> oh, I should have healed up a bit more before we went to, uh... Work, I feel. Just a little bit. Hey, are we too? Right, well, first of all, I bet it's probably start off with like a holy bullet. It's CP, everyone's topped up, and we go into the fight with that. How's TOCP? 183. That begs the question, what should I be doing with TO? Because I can scan, but I can attack and try to build up my CP further. The press probably isn't a bad idea, though. Right, we miss one of the Mafia guys who just shot me in the face. Doggos are blinded again. What now? Enemy rush attack? You gotta be joking me! I can't let them have that, or I could probably die. I don't know how that works for them. I need to delay, man. 
Sheen in the dog? Okay, this is nasty. How am I supposed to fight about- How am I supposed to scan these guys? It looks like I need to take out the humans first, but I need to scan them too. Hi. You're a tuna CP, are you? You're exactly the amount we need you to be. We also need to get a battle scope on some of these dudes. So I'll use it for you this turn. Sorry. I don't want everyone to be this close to each other. A member of Avash excels in close combat and wields a machete, may heal in a pinch. Triple counter. This counter damage is what we need. <laughs> For a strong victory here. So Randy's nearly ready to go. Let's battle scope this guy at the back too. Want to use another holy bullet with us sometime soon? A member of Ravash uses powerful ammo that overcomes defenses, calls Helms as backup. Thankfully, you attacked her, which means she can counter that absolutely perfectly. And now I want to proceed on that. That's a triple target, though. It's just the shooter that's kind of left separate from everything. Right, do I wait for a critical or do I attack before that fact? I, I should crash bomb first no matter what, right? Make sure to top up that five turns of everything. The guy that's wearing the dodge stuff, he's not dodging very well, is he? out of EP. That's done very good on the dogs, but the dogs aren't really in range anymore. They might move. There's the critical. There's the critical. That's what we're after. Who do I attack? Randy, what's your CP at? Not enough. Okay, get ready. Attack Randy, someone. Well, okay. I guess I'll just nuke you all with Tio instead. Yeah, Tio. So, uh, hello. Say hello to my little friend. Very uh, missed, but uh, we took out four of the five attacking troops. So I'm not too bad about that. Uh, you know. I feel quite uh, justified. Yeah, that's how I put it, justified. Have some more CP, guys. You're not weak to anything in particular, are you? 
Gonna start laying into these guys. Power Smash having 80 delay. That's all my EP. Eighty delay, Randy. Yeah. My opponent isn't allowed to attack. I think that's a fair statement. A mission complete. And no one leveled up, just barely. He resisted arrest. They got put down for it. Oh, that was tough. I cannot believe they are able to control those warhounds in such a manner. They ain't some two-bit mobsters, that's for sure. Is this for real? How the hell we get taken down by a bunch of kids? There's no use resisting any further. We'll be handing you over to the CGF first thing in the morning. But for tonight, we're going to chuck you boys in the warehouse. And we'll be keeping watch the whole time. See what happens if you try to pull anything. <laughs> Stop! You ain't getting away. Oh, don't get the wrong idea. Sure, you may have caught us off guard, but we still have a trick up our sleeves. It's a clown car? There were more. Ugh. <sighs> In fact, there was one extra dog on the outside, too. What's with that? <laughs> oh, no. I like dogs for playing with Tenema once it's going a little overboard. Eh, how's it feel to have the tables turn? We're going to pay you back double for making us look like chumps. I'm going to enjoy taking my sweet time torturing you, Bretts. Ah, This doesn't look good, Lloyd. This is the predicament. Damn, guess I could have busted out. Don't say your prayers yet. Let's get this party stuck. Huh? What's going on? <sighs> oh. It it's the white wolf. Nice, even brought back up. What are you much scared for? I told you how numbers to quit cowering. Pull those tails out from between your legs. This is the difference between the real deal and your fakes. Eh, there's no way a dog would be able to go toe to toe with a wolf. They seem to be angry at the mafiosos for having smeared their good name. Have they come for retribution then? Ugh. Give it up. It's over. You're under arrest on the charges of property damage and assault as well as resisting arrest. So I've been caught, have I? My, that wolf has some impressive senses. It's clear he's not just some regular old animal. And those four, they really didn't think this through, did they? I would have probably gotten to hear their blood-curdling screams right about now had the wolves not saved them. Ah, they've got quite a difficult road ahead of them. But it will only make them stronger. Oh my. Are you here to enjoy the show as well? Or were you waiting to make your heroic entrance once they realized they were in over their heads? Am I right, Alios McLean? Or would you prefer the Divine Blade of Wind? I could say the same to you. Enforcer. Number 15 of Ouroboros. The Angel of Slaughter, Ren. 
Oh, you've heard of me. I suppose I didn't have to reintroduce myself then. You're everything I could expect from a bracer who was offered a promotion to S rank, even if you declined it. It's honestly much more than I deserve. And the expectations to become Cassie Sprite's successor were too much for me to bear. Really now? I've only had the pleasure of meeting Cassius Bright once, but I'm almost positive your swordmanship surpasses his. You might even be on par with the strongest person I've ever known. Hmm, should I take that as a compliment? I found out that you've been staying here in Crossbell these past few months. I was convinced you were planning another one of your tea parties at first. Don't be so quick to jump to conclusions. Crossbell is plenty stimulating regardless of whether I hold a tea party or not. It would be uncouth for me to start my own entertainment in addition to everything else. That's reassuring to hear, at least. I suppose you're coming to Crossbell for personal reasons, then. But answer me this. How much longer will you continue to run away from them? Well, it's not my place to interfere with your fate. I cannot deny that having them at the Crossbell branch has been helpful. However, you cannot continue to run from the answer that lies before you. Leave me alone. I have plenty of reasons other than Estelle and Joshua to be in Crossbell. I'm having some repairs done and there's something I need to find out. Oh, and what exactly would that be? Wouldn't you like to know? I'll promise to be a good little girl, so leave me be. And on that note, I presume you won't be sharing any details with those two, correct? Indeed. You have nothing to worry about. As long as you leave this land be, I promise to not interfere in your personal matters. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be taking my leave. Have a wonderful evening, Mr. Divine Blade. A lost kitten. The way things are going, the three of them will continue to wander aimlessly. If only there were a third party to create an opportunity for them. Uh, but what are the odds of that? Well, the odds are that indeed. Amazing work, everyone. I never would have guessed that you'd single-handedly solve the entire case. Honestly, I'm quite impressed. Next time, though, give us a call before you start a fight right outside of town. Uh, sorry about that. I'm hesitant to admit it, but I was worried that if we'd contacted the CGF, the Mafia would have gotten word of our plan for your commander. Uh, it pains me to hear you say that, but I suppose I can't fault you for it. However, what would you have done if those white wolves hadn't saved you? Well, you see... Honestly, we would have been screwed. In a situation like that, you could have spoken with Sergei. You would have been able to contact me directly. Crossbell faces a myriad of trials and tribulations. That's an undeniable fact. But trying to solve them all on your own is nothing more than arrogance, plain and simple. You're right. I can't argue against that. Well, I think that's enough scolding for one day. I'm glad that you all are safe. As a Deputy Commander of the Crossbell Guardian Force, I thank you for your assistance in this case. Of course, Deputy Commander. Ah, would you look at this? Never before I see the day when you thank me for something. By the way, Deputy Commander, what do we plan to do with the White Wolves that saved the SSS? Uh, I suppose our initial suspicions were completely unsubstantiated. We should be fine to leave them be, but... I would not let it worry you, Deputy Commander. They do not seem the type to cause any unnecessary trouble for those around them. Yes, it does seem that way. I suppose we humans were the foolish ones in this string of incidents. To think that the Mafia caused uprules all across the state in order to test their warhounds. Just because some politician is on their side, they thought they could get away with it. It seems so. Considering the extent of the damage, surely there's no way they're getting out of this, right? No. You mean there's a chance they'll be bailed out? Yes, unfortunately. Up until now, we've managed to expose the Mafia's smuggling operation near the border, but that comes at a cost. Each time we catch them, we suddenly get pressure from our higher-ups to let them go. What's more, the smuggled goods are usually brought back to them under the flimsiest pretenses. But an annoying endless cycle. Come to think of it, Belgard Gate was facing a similar problem. So you have to remember that not everyone gives in to corruption. If every good man and woman were to lose hope now, Crossbell would be in peril. So don't forget that there are still people out there fighting for what's right as hard as they possibly can. People like yourselves. Yes ma'am, I'll make sure to never forget that. Good, I'm looking forward to seeing what all of you can do. Follow me, I can drive you back to Crossbell City. Seeker, prepare to head out. 
Yes, ma'am. Sleepy. I'll say we practically pulled an all-nighter. I have reached my limit. Once we get back to the SSS building, we'll be able to take a good long rest. Chief's report can wait until after that. That sounds lovely right about now. Oh? Hey, job well done. Chief, is something wrong? Don't tell me you went out of your way to welcome us back. Oh, you're gonna make me blush. As if I would do something as sappy as that. Sonia just gave me a call and filled me in on what happened. Your first job outside the city, I guess you did pretty okay. Thanks? That was a compliment, right? If you weren't waiting for us, what were you doing out here, Chief? It is quite the unusual location for your post-breakfast smoke. Well, I couldn't do it in there. No way I was gonna be able to enjoy my cig after he showed up and sat his ass down inside. He showed up? Who are you talking about? Well, don't leave us hanging. Hell if I know. Something just tells me that he's here for you. It's probably friendly, but he clearly doesn't give a tra crap about barging in out of nowhere. Well, okay then. So he's waiting for us inside. Let's see who our mystery guest is. Is he just fine? It's... it's... <laughs> yeah. He's just fine with that happening? I'll just take a smoke outside then. What? Oh my! The hell? Why? A friend of yours, I hope. He suddenly just showed up. When I saw him, I was so surprised that he reached for my gun. Man, this lazy mutt just sprawled out on the ground there, so I left him to his business. Did something happen? What are you doing here? Go woof. <laughs> oh. Tia, what is he saying? Uh, let me see. I'm known as Zite. I appreciate you dispelling the false accusations against me and my brethren. Something along those lines. So his name is Zeit. He he came to thank us. Maybe so, but this guy still sounds like a pompous ass. Uh, mm, <laughs> really? What is it, Tio? How do I put this? Make no mistake, you four are still young and unreliable. I shall lend you my assistance every now and then out of pure necessity. But only when the mood strikes me. Okay. What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. Woof. <laughs> Woof. There was no need for concern. I left the packs to the subordinates, so they may maybe will <laughs> they will be ta well taken care of, sure. That's not really the issue here. I guess that's the end of our conversation. Uh, legendary Divine Wolf, eh? Congrats, you guys just won yourself one hell of an ally. Um, Chief... For the time being, I'll pass him off to the higher-ups as a police dog. But listen, this big guy is your responsibility, not mine. And with that settled, I'm off to bed. Wait, what? Wait a second, Chief. Are you up all night, too? Cool. Just our luck. Uh, is this really okay? I agree with the Chief's decision. He will prove to be an invaluable member of the special support section. Besides, he is quite fluffy and his white fur is very charming. I suppose I can't deny that. Well, I guess we'll see how this plays out. I'll be useful for when we're in a pinch. Uh, maybe you guys are right. But if we just leave him like that, he'll look like a stray. Maybe we should get him a collar. And so ends chapter one. Afternoon of the Wolves. Give me my points. Man, no, numbers. Tenth class, we've got Gladiator Headband. Hooray! Doesn't that give me CP back? Well, I got the White Wolf's favor. And I can drop my save. But, without a bedtime story now, because I think, like, ending the chapter and doing the big boss battles of the chapter was the, uh, the bedtime story, some could say. For those who are watching on stream live, for those on YouTube, hey, hey, hey. I'll get our, uh, I'll get our actual story. Chapter 3 of, uh, Back Alley Glen. Ready, uh, for the start. Of our next chapter, once everything settles down a little bit. But hey, hey, hey. Chapter one down. Chapter two soon begins. Trails from Zero continues next time.
We'll see you guys then for more with our newest police dog member added to the group. See you guys around. Bye-bye.